What's going on, YouTubers and Steamians? I got a lot to talk to you about today. First thing, you guys know I love Zcash, and goddamn, did Zcash go up yesterday. A lot of people say it's because uh, there's a Korean exchange that was opening that was gonna start trading with, but I don't care because I had a ton of it, so it was wonderful. Um, so that's one thing. And I do strongly believe that Zcash is will be a prominent not only coin but uh, company that will be around for a long time um, which is why I, I don't I'm not a flip-flopper when it comes to my miners being configured I uh, when I was mining ethereum I just mined ethereum when I when it, it was about to uh, start having all its difficulty bombs I switched it to ubic and left it on that I wasn't switching around and dual mining to cred and all that kind of stuff. I don't have anything against that. It's just not personally what I do. I like to look into a coin that I feel is going to be profitable long term, and I try and mine that to uh, to hold until the right time. Um, unlike a lot of people that mine, just they, they like to hop around and whatever is the most profitable. And the thing is that what to mine, it could change every minute. You know, like one minute. Uh, Digibyte could be, yesterday at one time it was like $79 for the day if you're mining it. But then an hour later it was like $14. So it's like, you can see how the mining market is manipulated uh, by people who use that type of shit. So I don't like to look at that, I do like to look at it, I'm sorry. I don't like to use that as an everyday thing to see, you know, like if there's coins that are more profitable. Find a coin that's profitable for you, for you that you believe in and mine that coin. That's my best advice to you as a miner. Um, so that's that, okay? Next thing. I'm done with these YouTubers and their scams, man. This shit's getting out of hand. Alright? These people, and I'm gonna say it, I don't mean, I don't want to have to call them out like this, but I used to be a big supporter of, uh, I am English TV. I thought he was one of the honest faces in the crypto space on YouTube that you could go to. He was a big BitConnect promoter, and I honestly think that that's what sort of tainted him because he saw the money that you make from affiliate from affiliate services. Before BitConnect, he was totally against that kind of stuff. Um, he promoted Genesis. Besides Genesis Mining, he didn't really promote other shit. He was talking about a lot of coins and different positions he played and this or that. And he was calling out people like that and saying they don't realize that they're influencers and the things that they do influence people's decisions. And now he's on YouTube promoting the hell out of Bit Petite and Coin Group or Chain Group. Coin Group, I think it is. But Coin Group is run by the same people that run Bit Petite. Bit Petite is run by the same people that ran BitLake. BitLake was a Ponzi scheme that did the same shit that all these other ones do. They control finance and Ecoin Plus and uh, Red Royal Dragon Traders, Gladia Coin. Same bullshit. It's the same thing that BitLake did last year, okay? The same people are running Bit Petite. And if you read Bit Petite's description on their website, they straight up tell you that they're an illegal service, okay? It says that, all right, number one, you're depositing a certain currency and you're getting paid back in other currencies. Okay, like that right there. Right there is laundering coins, okay? 